Hello. I should have thought past that. Hang on. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you a bit about myself. My name's Andy. You knew that. Fuck. I like football. People don't expect me to like football because I look like a vegan Charles Bronson. <laughs> but I do. I would commit the crimes. I've just not got the upper body strength. You know? <laughs> just try trying to wound people, I just hug them. It's endearing, if anything. <laughs> I'm also a bald man. You might have noticed that. I've not got any hair. You're welcome. I, uh, I'm new to the bald game, but I'm enjoying it. What happened was my hair was getting thinner, and then I just got rid of it completely. It's great. <laughs> I'd recommend it. Even if your hair's thick, just fuck it off. Join me. You know? I think you know, going bald can be demoralizing, but being bald takes like five minutes. Sick. Just fast forward to the end. I don't need to see it degrade. We're here now, you know? <laughs> I've noticed since I've been a baldman that... Uh, 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 <laughs> I thought that was a clap. Uh, no. <laughs> Just one clap. <laughs> baldman? <laughs> uh, <laughs> since being a baldman, I've noticed something I never really acknowledged before, but it's the thing they say to, to fluff up the baldies and make us feel better, is that you lose your hair because you've got too much testosterone. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a little bitch. <laughs> that can't be true, you know? <laughs> That's how you know you live in a world run by men, isn't it? You know, if women went bald, we would say they were barren hags. <laughs> Just fuck, dried up and done with life. <laughs> Past your best. Go live in a home. <laughs> men go bald, it's because you're too butch, mate. <laughs> I've also got a micro penis because I'm too good at DIY. I'm such an alpha, I just intimidated it into never growing. <laughs> you hung like a horse, are you? Well, I can wrestle a horse. Good luck swinging that around while I'm dominating your livestock. <laughs> I've got other things to say. I want to make a TV, I want to make a spin-off of Hunted called Not Hunted. And it's the same, but you make no effort to find them. So you just send like 20 people off just fearfully hitchhiking around the UK for like a month. And you just felt, you just leave them. <laughs> just let them get up to whatever they want to get up to. You know? Every now and then you drive a Jeep by them to just make them feel uncomfortable. You know, give up the cushy spot they found. <laughs> There's a guy who's got a newborn baby and he really wants to see it, but he can't, but he can. <laughs> Fuck you, mate. You're missing precious moments. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> At the end, there's no cash prize. There's just like a banner saying like, fuck you. <laughs> and the family think they're stupid. It's going to be great. I want to make another show called uh, You're Not Being Punked. And it's the same as punked, but it's just they're not being punked. So it's just celebrities are going through an ordeal, just circumstantially. And then Ashton Kutcher, Kutcher, Kutcher? that's a different guy. He does power washing. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher just happens to walk by and then he just has to explain he just happens to be there. <laughs> so like Shakira's car's getting towed away and she's losing her mind. And then Ashton Kutcher walks past and she goes, oh, I knew I was being punked. And he goes, no, you, you can't park there, Shakira. <laughs> That's a tow-away zone, love, you know? <laughs> Ask your hips, they don't lie. <laughs> I just wanted to find a way to talk about Shakira. Uh, <laughs> I want to make another show. I want to make a spin-off of Coast called Slightly Inland. And it's just about five miles away from everywhere they talked about in the last season. <laughs> and then we'll just keep making, in decreasing circles, spin-offs of Coast until the last one's just a five-minute episode of a guy stood directly in the middle of the country just going, here we are. <laughs> I didn't like that one, fine. I like it. It's getting made. Shut up. <laughs> Whoever named brown sauce was not fucking about. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> they said, do you want to get more creative with it? And he said, what colour is it? It's brown. <laughs> what is it? It's sauce. Fuck you. It's brown sauce. Grow up. <laughs> the same guy named bagpipes. <laughs> what is it? It's a bag with pipes. Fucking grow up. <laughs> Whoever named Passion Fruit was too excited at the time. 
They've been looking for a fruit to name for years. <laughs> Finally found one, just crushed it. They were so excited. It's a passion fruit. <laughs> the guy who named oranges, oranges was stood there going like, you need to fucking back down, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I think uh, whoever named the umbrella uh, wanted to call it the brella, but they hesitated. <laughs> and they brought it in and the guy was like, oh, this is great. We'll keep the rain off. And what do you want to call it? Umbrella? Umbrella. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he's written it down. <laughs> That's set in stone. <laughs> escalators are only named right half the time. Because the rest of the time they're escalators. <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> I like to think escalators were invented just to escalate, but after a while everyone was just upstairs. <laughs> and they went, oh, we're going to need a backwards one of these. <laughs> That's the whole joke. <laughs> I was getting my belly button pierced, and the guy said, do you come here often? I said, yeah, either there or like in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, did, I did the slap wrong. I just hit myself quite hard in the leg. <laughs> my son's named after where he was conceived. His name's In the Pussy. <laughs> That's gross. I did that joke on the internet and someone said, actually, it's in the oviduct. And I said, I think I know what my son's fucking name is. <laughs> the arrogance of these people. <laughs> I've not fully stopped bragging about how far I can ejaculate, but I have come a long way. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm a big fan of water slides. I've decided to talk about this. Stop trying to make me talk about it. I'll talk about it. It's fine. I'm a big fan of water slides. Wet slides? <laughs> Come on. It's a weird time to be alive, but most people who were ever lived never went down a wet slide. So, you're lucky to be here. <laughs> Why has that got an R? <laughs> no, you are. You're lucky to be here. Wet slides. Come on. What's my favorite part of a wet slide? Thank you for asking. You're lucky I've got a bit ready. Uh, <laughs> It's the bit that goes outside the leisure centre for a loop. Come on, that's fucking elaborate. <laughs> Whoever thought of that changed the leisure centre game forever, you know? <laughs> Imagine how hard that was to get off the ground, just going to different leisure centres and being like, can I fuck the wall up? And he's like, what, what, no. <laughs> just slide in the building, <laughs> you piece of shit. But now look at him, he's probably got one in his house. And outside his house. <laughs> that's key. <laughs> I grew up near a water slide that went outside the building for a loop, but the loop was opaque, so you didn't know when you were outside. <laughs> you fucked that. The, why have you made that? That's the worst bit. You can't even check on your car. That's the best bit. You're not worried about your car, but if you can check on it, you check on it. Good view of the car park. Oh, it's not moved. It's comforting. It would, though, be the worst time to find out your car's been stolen. <laughs> Absolutely ruined the second half of the slide. <laughs> You just get that little glimpse of the car park. You see someone crack the window. You just spend the rest of the slide going, no! <laughs> you get to the end, you're too fired up. Your family's waiting for you, but you can't explain because you're so stressed out. You're just like, the car window! Your wife's like, what? You're like, drive the kids off. I can do it! You run out there in your speedo. You jump on the bonnet as it goes past, but you slide off because you're too wet. You've got his license plate number. Of course you do. It's your car. <laughs> Still a massive inconvenience. But do you know the best way to get over it? Get right back in there. <laughs> get on that slide. Get the bus home. <laughs> i got some characters. I'm a man of many characters. I don't really change my voice at all, but it's more about context. What's the first one? It's Vague David. It's like Craig David, but he's less specific. <laughs> we were making love sometime last week. Why are you asking? <laughs> That's fine. I've got loads more. Uh, this one is Wrigley Scott. Uh, I directed Blade Runner. <laughs> it's Wrigley. <laughs> this is Henry VIII, but he's on an escalator. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> he wouldn't know. <laughs> Moving stairs made out of swords? Fuck off. <laughs> Two drinks about escalators in one set. You're welcome. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I've got another one. Do I? I do. I'll do this one and then I'll leave. This has been a lot of talking to me. <laughs> um, right. This is the incredulous... I don't need that. 
<laughs> Start again. This is the incredulous Hulk. And he's like the incredible Hulk, but he's incredulous. Disbelieving. <laughs> I got you, mate. Don't worry about it. Uh, what? What do you mean? <laughs> no, that's fine. I'll do one more and then I'll go. Right. <laughs> this is uh, Belt on John. And it's like Elton John, but he's putting his belt on. <laughs> I've got to take my belt off first. I'd have started the show without my belt on to make it smoother, but my trousers would have fallen down. <laughs> Belts. Anyway. <laughs> this is Belt on John. It's a little bit funny. It's feeling inside. It's the whole thing. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. I don't have much money. <laughs> Boy, if I did. All right, well, this has been great. <laughs> I've been Andy Field. Thank you very much.